What's going on all my toy collectors and Batman fans out there? It's your boy Ox and today we're going to be taking a look at the 1997 Batman and Robin movie vehicles by Kenner. So stay tuned as once again we take another look at some more of the treasures that I have here in the Cave of Wonders. Stay tuned. Oh look at the fitted of the day. You know your boy Ox don't ever disappoint. Okay, let's start off looking at the Batmobile first. It says right here it's with ice shattering missile and vine attack blades. This must be the missile right here. These must be the blades meant to cut through poison ivy's vines. Let you know that it's made by Kenner. Let you know that it's only a one seater, so you can't fit both Batman and Robin in this vehicle. And this right here is a digital render of the vehicle. On the back, it'll show you what it actually looks like, which basically looks like this. So, but no light up features, nothing like that. Um, back then at Walmart, it was about $18. So let's turn it around. This is what it actually looks like on the inside of the box. It shows the figure that goes inside. Um, doesn't come with the figure though. And it shows you the missile right here and how it pops off the pops out the front shows you the blades how they come out of the Batmobile right there and I've already measured this out for you it's 17 inches long by 8 inches high by three and a half inches wide so for anybody who's going to be displaying this on a shelf or anything that's how much space you're going to need okay guys let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box okay guys this is it out of the box as you can see it comes with a toy catalog Kenner always put these in with all the other vehicles um, let you know about all the new toys coming out Star Wars um, yeah, starting lineup. Yeah, starting lineup. Um, Beast Wars, which is cool because there's new Transformers Beast Wars movies coming out. Let you know about um, all the the figures and stuff that's inside of this assortment uh, made by Kenner. So all the all the figures and vehicles and stuff like that that you guys can buy. So if you guys ever want to take a close look at these, I can make a video. I have all the old Kenner toy catalogs from back in the day. Uh, I can make a video on them. Let me know down in the comments below and I can pull some of these out and pull out the old Kenner catalogs and uh, go through them for you guys. Let you let you see some of the old toys from back in the day. Now taking a look at the box now. This is one that I still have in the box. I actually have this Batmobile out of the box on display. So I'm not going to break all these little pieces off and stuff for you guys. Just because I already have it all put together. But this is the sticker sheet. I didn't put the stickers on my Batmobile back then when I was little. Because I wanted it to look solid black. I wasn't a huge fan of how they went from... The Tim Burton Batmans to the Joel Schumacher Batmans, how colorful they all were and neon lights and stuff. I wasn't a big fan of that back then. Um, so I'm not, I didn't, I didn't put them stickers on my Batmobile. But yeah, that's basically it inside the box. And now let's take a look at the actual Batmobile. Okay guys, here's the Batmobile right here. Like I said, this is the one that I already have on display. I didn't put the stickers on. Well, I actually did put the stickers on when I was little, but the stickers peeled off, so then I just, I got rid of them. Because I actually like the Batmobile to be a nice solid black. I left the stickers right here on, uh, because I kind of like that, that didn't bother me. And this right here is the projectile missile. Um, they call it the ice shattering missile, meant to go through Mr. Freeze's um, ice and stuff. And it slides right in right here. You push that in and it goes in and then you, right here on the back is the actual button now most of the batmobiles have like a big old jet engine right here but i th actually think the fire came out right here in the movie so but yeah you just go ahead and push this button right here in the back you push that forward and then it shoots out and i'll show you guys right here oh, right there and then you guys can see the blades that pop out. And these blades are meant to cut poison ivy's vines if the Batmobile is driving through it and stuff like that. So, but yeah, like I said, I didn't put too many of the stickers on back when I was little. I did put the stickers inside the dash right there. And you can see what that looks like. And this Batmobile only fits one figure, like I said before. And we can go ahead and measure it out real quick. It is 19 inches from the back of the fins right here to the front of that blade. And then it is less than four inches tall and it is five and a half almost six inches wide it's more wider in the front than it is in the back but yeah yep as you can see it has bat signals right here on the tires right here on the on the rims excuse me uh, these are just plastic tires they all rotate like i said no kind of lights light up features or anything like that the only missile that shoots out is right there in the front so and yeah that's pretty much it that's a look of the uh look at the batmobile from this movie now we can go ahead and try and fit this Batman in there. And I noticed one thing about these is no matter what Batman you really put in there, his hands always, his arms always end up sticking up. So it's like it wasn't wide enough for the Batmans. So his arms kind of end up fitting up. 
But yep, but that's a close look at the Batmobile. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one, guys. Okay, now let's take a look at the Jet Blade vehicle. This right here is two vehicles in one, it says. This vehicle is actually at the end of the Batman and Robin movie, and Robin was the one driving it when they went up against Mr. Freeze. Um, let you know it's made by Kenner. You can see right here it only is going to fit one one figure not two of them let you know that has some kind of thermal thermal shield blast right here in order to cut through the ice when they're fighting mr freeze this right here is just a a digital rendering and on the back right here that's the actual vehicle and as you can see it has that's the projectile that shoots out the thermal blast let you know right here that robin can actually fit on it and fly it. it has these little pegs you'll see that robin's feet the figure will fit right in right there there right here is the missile that actually shoots out of the back of the turbine. So, yeah, yep. And this box measures out to 16 inches long by 9 inches tall by 3.5 inches wide. So that's how much shelf space you're going to need, all right? Let's go ahead and crack this out of the box. Okay, now here it is out of the box. Now, I actually bought this toy used. I didn't have this toy when I was little, so the stickers were already put on it. So, but this right here are the directions. It doesn't come with a toy catalog. This one didn't come with it. I'm, I'm sure it did brand new, but when I bought it from the person on eBay, it didn't come with a toy catalog. So, and let you know how to put it all together, let you know where all the stickers go, let you know how the missile shoots, how Robin fits on there, just like that. So, yep, that's the directions. This is pretty easy to assemble. I actually have this displayed inside of my toy room. So let's go ahead and get rid of this box real quick and show you how to put this thing together. Okay, this right here is what they're talking about, about Robin being able to fly. As you can see, it has pegs right there. I have an extra Robin right here. And you see he has the holes in the bottom of his feet. You can go ahead and just fit him on there. Let's do it real quick for you guys. And yep, there you go. And then he can fly all around and, you know, uh, go fight crime, basically. All right, now let's go ahead and snap this right onto the back of here because that's exactly where it's actually supposed to go. And as you can see, these little uh, grooves right there, it slides right in the little holes. Push it down, slides in there really easy, not a problem at all. So, and these fins can stay up, they can click up and kind of lay down a little bit, or you can push them all the way down and they can lay out like that. All right, let's go ahead and measure this thing out for you real fast. From the front of the blade right here to the back of the turbine, it is 15 inches. Now, the, if these are down right here, it's 12 inches right there. So um, that's how much space you're exactly gonna need or whatever. So, and as you, as I said earlier, I'm missing a couple stickers. So, but yep, that right there is how that looks. This is how the front looks. There's no wheels, this just slides right across the carpet or your hardwood floor. It does have wheels in the very back though, right up here on this uh, tank-like wheels. So, and this right here, even though the sticker is peeling, is right here where the um, thermal blast comes in. And this is the missile right here. You can see it has the Batman and Robin symbol on it. Now, you lock it in because this is square right here. So you lock it into where it's square. It looks round, but there's a little square piece in there. You click it in, you'll feel it click, and then you twist it clockwise probably about four or five times. And then you push this little button right back here. You push that button and then it's going to fly. So beware because it does fly. It, it doesn't fly where you want it to go, basically. So I did that like six times and it flew way over there and hit my Ninja Turtles and knocked them off the shelf. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the front of the cockpit right there. See the sticker is already on there. It's peeling and stuff. But yeah, that's the cockpit and it fits one figure. Fits my boy Robin right there. Yep. So yeah. That's basically a look at the jet blade. And like I said, you could store it up like that. That's what I do in order to save space. So, or you can lay it down. But yep, all right, let's move on to the next one, guys. Okay, now here's a look at Robin's Red Bird cycle. It actually comes with a figure right here. He didn't wear that suit inside the movie, uh, but this vehicle is inside the movie. It ended up getting destroyed by Mr. Freeze. Now, you can see it comes with a missile right here. A projectile actually goes in the front. You can see a a digital rendering of what it looks like in the movie and stuff like that so and yeah man now i actually have this in the box still and i have it out of the box the one i played with when i was little um i'm not gonna open this one because this is my baby and i like i like my displayed stuff like i said it's nine inches wide by 12 inches tall by four inches in depth all right guys so make sure if you're going to be displaying it that's how much shelf space shelf space you're going to need okay guys 
And taking a look on the back, you can see these are the other figures that you can buy from this toy line from Kenner that Kenner had made. You can see Poison Ivy, you can see Bane, the Batmobile, which we already went over. This right here is the Bat Cycle. And these are some other little small vehicles. They weren't inside the movie or anything like that. They're more like deluxe figures. So, but yeah, man, as you can see, I have some of these figures right over there. So, um... And yeah, man. Yeah, really cool. I mean, th this was all about the toy line. This wasn't even about the movie. So let's go ahead and take a look at them and slide it to the side. And here it is right here. Let me go ahead and drop this camera down a little bit for you guys. This right here is Robin's Redbird Cycle. So taking a look at it, I actually don't have the missile anymore. Like I said, that's the missile right there. So, um, but I'm not going to open that one. But yep, this is it right here. These little blades come out right here. They're basically, you, you drive by and you can um, knock over Mr. Freeze's villains, uh, Frostbite or anybody else. Um, he lays down on here, which he lays down kind of awkward. This is a button right here you push in order to shoot the missile. The handlebars go up and down. Has really good detail. Kenner always did really good job on their toys, on their vehicles, man. I'm making them look, um, look exactly how they did in the movie, basically. So even the... The tires have little Batmobile, little bat signal symbols on them. And if you remember in the movie, if you look up close, the Batmobile actually had symbols on, on the tires, little bat signals on the tires. So, yep. And then it has this piece right here that if you push forward, a little fire, um, um, like a fire blowtorch thing, basically, a rocket basically can lift this up and help it fly basically wherever it needs to go. And then you can just close that up or whatever, so... But yeah, yep, that's basically a look at it. Pretty cool, man. I had a lot of fun with this thing when I was little. And this is the Robin right here. He did come with a cape, but I lost it. So, but this is the Robin. Like I said, he didn't wear this suit in the movie. And he fits on here very awkwardly. You can slide his hands into these little handlebars. Get in there. He basically just lays down on it. His head doesn't move up. You know, if you remember these old Kenner figures, they didn't have very good articulations. Their legs went up and down, arms went up and down. You know, their wrist didn't swivel, elbow joints, nothing like that. So, but yeah, man, this thing was amazing. When I was little, I loved it, man. I, I played with this thing all the time. It's probably why I lost the missile. But yeah, yep, that's pretty much a look at Robin's Redbird Cycle. And now, because I have it out of the box and not in the box, now we're going to be taking a look at Batgirl's Ice Strike Cycle, all right? And it has Snow Assault um, snow assault Mode, and it has Razor Wheel Launchers. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And here she is with all her glory. Now, this was her first time ever being in the movie. I think it was played by Alicia Silverstone when she first played in the Batman and Robin movie when she was Batgirl. So, and yeah, this is it right here, man. This vehicle... It was really cool. She ended up actually driving this vehicle in the movie towards the end with uh, Batman riding his own vehicle and Robin riding that uh, jet blade vehicle that I showed you earlier. But yeah, man, this is pretty much it. She didn't wear this suit in the movie, I don't think. But yeah, you take an up close look. Yeah, pretty cool vehicle that comes with this comes with this little bike. See, it has a stand right here. The stand comes up and down, you know, and then it it rolls back and forth. Taking a look at the tires, rubber tires right here. Yep. Nothing little hard plastic. It has like a rubberish, yeah, like rubber tires right here. But yeah, taking a look at the detail on it. It looks really cool. Like I said, these wings come up, they go down. The handlebars come up, come down. I've had this vehicle for a very long time. I'm surprised nothing's broke or turned any other color. And this right here is the missile that shoots out. So if you push this button you kind of put your two fingers right here and then you push this button right here and then it ends up shooting so you guys ready boom just like that yep and then you can grab it and that's the missile right there and you just slide it right back in there you go just like that yep and she rides it and she can drive and that's pretty much it and that's a look at Batgirl cycle. All right, let's take a look at the last one, okay, guys? Okay, guys, last but not least, this is the Ice Glow Bat Hammer right here. And this is the front of the box. It shows you right here that it has two projectiles that shoot out of it. Let you know that it lights up. I've already measured it out for you. It's 17 inches long, 
by 12 inches high by three and a half inches in depth. So that's how much shelf space you're going to need to display this. All right. And taking a look at the back of the box. That's what it's going to look like inside. Like I said, it shows you that it lights up, shows you the two missiles that shoot out right there. And yeah, let's go ahead and crack this baby out. All right, guys. Okay, guys, this is it right here outside of that display box. As you can see, it comes with another one of them Kenner toy catalogs. Let you know what figures are coming out next. I think this was for the 1998 um, the Dark Knight, Legend of the Dark Knight collection right here. So as you go through, you can see more of the Batman and Robin movie figures. There you guys go. Let you know about more upcoming toys. The Total Justice line right here. Let you know about the Superman animated series, the Shaq Steel movie, and uh, yep, more Star Wars, and yeah, a lot of stuff. Oh, Lost World, the Jurassic Park 2 Lost World toys by Kenner as well. Like I said, you guys ever want to take a look at these, let me know down in the comments, and I'll do a video just on these, okay? Also comes with instructions right here. Let you know where to put all the stickers at. Let you know how to put the fin on the back. Let you know how to put the um, the rocket, the projectiles that actually shoot the sh that shoot out the missiles right here. Let you know where they go and how they work. Right here, let you know where the battery compartment is, which is underneath. Let you know how the lighting system works, because uh, with this vehicle, if you roll it, it will flicker, but you can also push it over. Push the button over and it will stay on the whole time. Let you know that the figure fits inside there and how to close the canopy. And this is it right here. I'm going to open it up and take a look at it. Comes just like this. It comes with the side pieces. It comes with the middle piece. This right here is the rockets. And the stickers right here. Now I already have this already put together because I have it displayed on my shelf full of all my Batman vehicles and stuff. So I'm going to show it to you already put together um, and show you guys how to put it together. But I'm not going to take this one out of the box and put it all together and stuff. But you'll see in a minute. All right, stay tuned. Okay, guys, now here it is out of the box. Like I said, this is the one that I had since I was little. So I already put the stickers on it. But I'm going to show you guys everything that exactly came in the box and how you put it all together. So this is the middle piece right here. We'll go ahead and take a look. This is how the canopy opens. It's on a little hinge joint right there. This does pop off right here. And these are the stickers that are already placed on there. And as you can see, they're all, they all held up pretty well and none of them are peeling or anything like that. But yep, that's what the computer system looks like. Like I said, it's a one seater right there. You put the Batman in there and then it just closes just like that. And now here's a fin piece that goes right on the back and it just pops right in here. Really easy. You hear it snap in there and then there's two wings right here. Now make sure you guys put these on right because you don't want to put them on backwards because then um, basically you want these little blue pieces right here on the side. You want them to be facing forward. So, yep. And they just click right into these little side pieces right there. Just like that. There you go. And also it has these little things right here, these little groove pieces right on the end, they fit right in there as well. So you just slide these right in there. There we go. And that's it. And that's how it looks. Now, it also comes with two rocket launchers right here. It doesn't matter what side you guys put these on. It, it doesn't matter. They're both the exact same. And then it comes with two of these. Um, projectile missiles, heat, um, you know, heat missiles, whatever, in order to melt Mr. Freeze's ice. But yep, they just slide right in there just like this. And then you push this little button right there and then they pop out. That's what they do. And I'll show you how that works in a second. First, I'm going to show you guys how to put these on. All right, guys. Right on the bottom right here, as you can see right here and right over here has two spots in order to hook these in. And they slide in there just like that. There you go. And you just slide these missiles in. There you go. Now this is a Batman figure from the Kenner line. 
this is it didn't come with this box but this is one of the figures that i use for displaying it right here so sits in here a lot better probably because he has a canopy that closes uh than the figures did inside the batmobile for this movie but yep he sits right in there really good closes up and yeah that's it we'll take a look at how these things shoot all right guys like i said you push the little button right here shoot out and if i can reach this one yep shoot out as well so and i'm surprised these springs still work as good as they did because like i said i I've, I've had this toy for a very long time so now this thing also has a light up feature right here is where you put the, the batteries in you take it out it, it requires two c batteries right here so and then right here is a little switch one of my stickers is missing that actually goes right here and if you push it back when you're rolling this vehicle it will it will light like a strobe light like click 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 and each the light will come on each time if you push it all the way forward the light will stay on the whole time all right and it has two wheels has a wheel right here then it has a wheel right here and this wheel right here is actually rubber so i'm going to show you guys how this looks all right probably going to show you in the dark all right okay guys here it is when my basement lights off and this is just with the main light that i have right here for videoing i'm going to shut that off and it's a it's a pretty bright vehicle so as you can see the back um turbine right there has like a like a, a round circular light you can see it on the box right there but yeah man this is it right here i'm surprised like i said that the bulb and everything still works but now i have it in the upright position the button so that means it's going to stay on the whole time as it's running back and forth now i'm going to go ahead and switch it over and i'm going to put it on the strobe position so you guys can see what it looks like when i'm rolling it across the table all right guys there you go pretty cool huh all right, now, guys, that was an up-close look at the Ice Glow Bat Hammer. I also measured it out for you. It's 16 inches long by 16 inches wide by 4 inches high from the back of the fin. So it measured out the exact same from this way to that way. So, yep. Now, let's go ahead and pull back out that uh, Batman and Robin Batmobile and do a couple Batmobile comparisons from the movie lines. All right, guys? All right, and real quick, I just want to let you guys know that there was this box set, too, the Triple Action Vehicle Set three vehicles in one. None of these vehicles were in the Batman and Robin movie. They were in the 95 Batman Forever movie with Val Kilmer when he was Batman. So we're not going to take a look at this. I just wanted to let you know that this thing does exist, okay? And it comes with multiple pieces right there in order to make the either the Bat Jet, the Bat Boat, or the Batmobile. But I'll actually run through this when I do a Batman Forever video for you guys, okay? And let you guys take a look at all of those. Okay, guys. Here's taking a look at all the Batmobiles from each one of the movies. This right here is the Batman 1996 Adam West Batman uh, Batmobile right here. This is the one made by Mattel, not the McFarlane one, because I like the scale of the Mattel one with the McFarlane figures. That right there is the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Collections Batmobile from the 89 movie. This right here is the 95 Batman Forever um, Batmobile. This right here is the one that we just looked over for Batman and Robin. This right here is the Dark Knight, the Batman Begins uh, Tumblr. And this right here is the Ben Affleck um, Batmobile from the Batman vs. Superman or the Justice League uh, Batmobile, basically. And this one's also really big, uh, just like the Mattel 66 one is compared to the rest of these. It's a lot bigger scale. This was that exclusive um, multiverse one. I think you can only get off Amazon right here. Um, but yeah, yep. Yeah. So, and then we also have the Robert Pattinson, and you can see how much bigger that um, Ben Affleck Batmobile is compared to the Robert Pattinson one, just like the rest of them. So, all right, and real fast, I wanted to show you guys exactly how the 66 Mezco um, Batmobile for the three and three quarter inch figures Batmobile looks right here. It fits in really well with the rest of these ones. Like I said, the Mattel, the Mattel vehicle is really big compared to these other Batmobiles, but it just scales really well with the McFarlane figures. But yep, that's how that looks right there. And like I said, it scales really well with the rest of these. And since I got rid of that big old um, big one right there, the Amazon exclusive one, the Batman vs. Superman uh, Batmobile right here actually fits in really well with the rest of these. I just never took this out of the box or ever displayed it because 
it was one of the basic ones and when i seen they were coming out with that i wanted that one on my display case so but yeah guys that's a really good look at all the movie batmobiles right there pretty cool all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you want to see more content i'll be taking a look at some of the batman forever batmobiles as well and vehicles from that line so yeah stay tuned man and have a good one stay cool